Let me see, let me see. I didn't know. Whoops. Uh, wait, wait. Good day to you. Take care. We're okay. You can climb, though, I know that. There we go. What kind of trick were you trying to pull last time, you cur? I went all the way to the mill for nothing. Clear off and don't show your face here again. All right. What do you even have in my inventory? Strength. 44, 44. Honestly, I meant to just eat this blade. Well, I'll probably just put it away in the chest. Legend. Stone whenever I tag. Not worried about any of these. Also, you're uh I don't know what's up with you. You I'm gonna put on. The mind if I do. You not so much. You the old shirt. Store the rest of the stuff. Uh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Hold. I'm planning. I'm planning. Wake up, sheeple. Mm. 
Store the reliable blade. That's fine. Store... I mean, I have a different bludgeon already in here, right? That's not stolen. Let's take this one. I can't use you, right? Actually, I think we can use you. For now. I don't know what our agility is, but I'll give it a try. This door, I don't care. We have three of them, apparently. Hold on to... Well, I can just pierce your way for now. Am I losing it? I, I am losing it. No, we're fine. We have six of these. Why do we have six torches? And food. Store that. We don't need the snaps on us for now. Pull them out later. Throw those as well. Boom. 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 We're back, boys. Only the snaps, eh? Well, we'll sleep until morning, so we can heal as well. Seven's fine. Mario here, Mario home, Mario home. Boo do 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 boo do do do. And here we go. <laughs> All right. Where are we? Where's Uncle Let? Here we go. Is it last longer if it's boiled? No. But it is better, so... Okay, we're good. Looks fine to me. He's still inside. Drop the sack. Good day to you. I have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. 
at the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else, and you There's can't a fence. sell just anyone. Gotcha. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. I'll see you later. Two hundred and seven. We put them all in storage. It's too far away. Can't believe you. I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's Blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then, go ahead. It'll be it's that easy. Skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Can that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you will be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? Sir Radzik. Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. 
Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. What a great guy. I'm sorry, where is he? Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. Room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well... There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. Oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. 
If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. A sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. He's done it. Awakening. Where do I turn? God be with you. Good luck to you. Okay. Don't mind if I do. I've lost everything. My home. Big a bond. Not out to you, sir. What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point, but keep your hands where I can see them. 
My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? All right, sure. All right. I can do that. I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazdera the guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. Good luck to you. Where is Pandera the guard? Is he green? What do you want here? Oh, he's alive. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get you out don't of here. Don't everything you have. You can't avoid this forever, you know. Of course I can. It's you who can't piss me off forever. Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? No, I don't. He's Fine. Done. I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt. Everyone is criminal scum. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalets, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dovecot. Under a dovecot? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dovecots could there be in Scalets? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. We'll see. Sure. Weaponsmith, gotcha. Good day to you. What do you? Good luck to you. Nothing we really need. This is a one time use. Let's have a word about the pride. Naturally. Over two cabbages. I'm finished. This is going nowhere. Well. the off shift.
Hey, halt right there. Show me what you have on you. What's with you? What's going on? Dear Such people, are my orders. Don't leave a poor woman to starve. Sigismund took everything I had, the godless beast. Have some compassion. For God's sake, don't bother me. Any delay could cost lives. Well, there's nothing that can't... Ugh, come on. Are you yanking my pistol? Hand over. Now you can enter. What do they even have? A banker? Good health to you. I can't change that. Whatever. I'm worried about it. For the kitchen or the field, my fine wares will right your God be with you. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Easy. Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that... All right, let's fight then. Hold your horses, laddie. First, you have to prove you're a word. I got you. I got you. Are you the bro? What's it to you? I'm a skeleton. Hang on. I Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor, but you, you've got coin. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Quest tipster. Okay. It's two of them. God be with you, good sir. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? I've got other things on my mind. Okay. Sorry I bothered.
Go Cornelius. that easy. Day to you. What Memories. Farewell. All right, never mind. I don't think he minds. that easy. food. out you sir I've got your coin <laughs> I'd like to see that bastard's face when he finds out it's gone I'll give you some of the Groshen back like I promised and I've got another job for you me quick what's this other job then everywhere you go here you'll see wretches like me 
Poor souls, they don't have a pot to piss in and have to beg. Then take a look and rat eye at all the gentle folk with their noses in the air, looking out only for themselves with not a moment's thought for the poor. Well, from one fine lady, you could get arms to feed the whole lot of us here. Arms for everyone? <laughs> that would be quite a purse. But I'll see what I can do. That's the spirit. In return, I'll teach you something useful, and you'll get a share too, of course. May the Lord watch over you. All right, I'll never give him my money. Hey, you! Halt! Gah! Leave me be! You! Stop right where you are! Hey, hey you! Oh, God, we weak at the knees, have you? Don't and we're out. You! Stop right where you are! It's that easy. Hey, you! Don't move a muscle! Hey, you! Hold! You! Stop right where you are! Stop right hey, where you, you are. Don't move a muscle! Surrender! that easy. Now am I wanted there or I had no idea. I see. No. Let's go back to the crib. That easy. Or even get anyway. Find more money. I don't know, man. More money. I don't really care for either. I'm being honest. A 
level 8. <laughs> Daring to binary. What do we even steal anyway? What do we have? Okay. Eh. Can't worry, those gotcha. Rage potion. Reaches strength and evokes a blood frenzy. Alright. Hair of the dog potion. Okay. Oh, I put her flowers away, I didn't realize. We still have them. Maybe need more than six. <laughs> Do I have other flowers? be with you. I've got some goods here who All right. I'll see you later. Was with 119 or that mystery though. I don't think it was worth that much. Wow. I want that back. You know what? Keep these. You can have those. Haggle. Let's talk about the pride. Naturally. Are we agreed? That's better. What about this? That's better. All right, fine. Well, that's a decent. We have no flowers. Maybe need like a minimum of ten. It would help to look it up. I 
Hey, partner. You ready? Yeah. Give me one second. Hey, I got some. Oh, that was gonna work. I would have joined earlier, but that was right at the end of a mission. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Let me see. What's the name of this perk again? Perkaholic. It is flower power. Kingdom come. Our power. I need 30. Yeah, gotcha. Jim. Remember that for next time. Alright, but let's start games right now. Go to sleep first. Alright, save. To full HP. Midnight almost. You know what? Sleep until morning anyway, be safe. I don't know how long we're one to four, so it's seven AM. There we go. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Alright, here's your games. <laughs>